Hello, this video is about finding the total debt ratio given debt to equity. I'm your professor, Dr. Stephen Haggard. Okay, let's talk about some leverage measures. The total debt ratio is total debt over total assets. Now be careful here because students oftentimes want to just do long-term debt divided by total assets, but this measure does include the current liabilities. And so if you just want to make sure, you might take total assets minus total equity, divide by total assets. That way you'll be sure to get those current liabilities also. And then there's another measure of leverage that we discuss, and that is the debt to equity ratio. And that is just the total debt divided by the total equity. And once again, that does contain your current liabilities. So you could also say it is total assets minus total equity divided by total equity. And then finally, let's talk about the equity multiplier, which is purely total assets divided by total equity. The more leverage a firm has in their capital structure, in other words, the more debt they have, the higher this equity multiplier will be. Here's a helpful relation that's going to help us to be able to complete this calculation more easily. And that is to know that the equity multiplier is just one plus the debt to equity ratio. Now how do we get there? Well, first of all, let's recognize that total assets is just equal to total equity plus total debt. And when we divide that all by total equity, we still have equity multiplier. Then we can distribute that total equity divisor and see that total equity over total equity cancels and becomes one. And so we can see that the equity multiplier is just one plus the debt to equity ratio. So here's what the typical problem statement would look like for one of these problems. A firm has a debt to equity ratio of 0.6. What is the firm's total debt ratio? And this appears to cause quite a problem for many students. We're going to do some algebraic magic here. We've already discussed the debt to equity ratio and the equity multiplier. Now here's what I want you to notice. If we take this debt to equity ratio and divide by the equity multiplier, these total equities are going to cancel out. And what's left over? Total debt divided by total assets, which is exactly our total debt ratio. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. We've been told the debt to equity ratio is 0.6. And so to find the total or the equity multiplier, all we have to do is add one to that and it gives us 1.6. And so we know that taking the debt to equity ratio divided by the equity multiplier is going to give us that total debt ratio. So all we have to do is take 0.6 and divide by 1.6, which gives us 0.375 or 37.5% of the capital structure being debt.